Hello everybody and welcome to oh wait let me get this out of the way. Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial from me. This tutorial I wanted to show you a gate-ish 303-ish cool psychedelic trans gate synth. <laughs> Uh, something like Effect Mushroom or Spongle uses a lot. I think it's very cool synth synthish sound and it's very useful in a lot of ways. Um, so I'm gonna try to show you how to do something like that. It's not gonna be exactly the same, but for all you psychedelic trans lovers out there, I think some of you will appreciate it. Um, so let's see here. First, we need our synth. I'm just gonna use a basic Ableton synth operator. Just lost the sound there. You can do that with uh, basically any synth. Vanguard is uh, very nice. I use a, a microcore, preferably. I will want a hardware synth, but for the sakes of this tutorial, I'll just show you with this because I don't have a camera to show you that and I think this will connect with more people. So first let's get some recording. Yeah. So we want sawtooth. At least I want it. Now. Hmm, pretty good. You could use a square. Whatever you want, I want to solve. I like the 16. All right. So next we got a source. Uh, we want the we want monophonic, because that's most times it's monophonic. We want also a bit of glide. Get a good lead sound. Yeah, we're getting there. A little shorter. Oh, I like it about that. Sounds a bit like a, a reed instrument. A double reed instrument or something. I like that. All right. Of course, we need a filter. And we want to assign that to a MIDI control. I just use a basic nano control, 50 bucks or so. It's really helpful. Right, we want some more resonance. We want we want to let it talk. That's what we want. Right, that's about right. For now, we're gonna need a lot more in the end when we're gonna do some distortion. Because the distortion will squash the sound and we want to have that movement, so we have to add more resonance. Well, we'll get to that point some, uh, at some point. Alright, anyways. So we have a basic sound. Sounds about right. Want to add another. A little bit body. Yeah. All right. I'm pretty happy with this um, envelope. Hmm, 
I'm okay with the envelope. I think this is right. Just on and off. Yeah. All right. So next, we want to have distortion. I use guitar rig in this instance because normally with my microcorg I will use a fast pedal for guitar because it gives a good sound. So I will try to imitate it a bit. Because here we also get the fuss. <laughs> oh. I'm laughing at my own very horrible accent. Right, a little bit. We need more. The range is not as long as big as it is without the distortion. The sweeps much wider. This sounds better, but the sweeps not wide enough for, for my taste. So let's up the resonance to give it a real tone. disappear at some point if I turn the filter knob all the way down it's a little bit too much I like it all right so that seems about right next of course what's this We need our verb. I got a verb here. It's a hall verb. Put it on the send. I like that much better than inserting it on the channel itself. Because it doesn't mess with your volume levels. We need a very big, because it has to be epic, big verb for big epicness. What's next? Oh yes, the gate. The gate is the last piece of the puzzle. So we have a gate. We want gate signal. Well, in the previous video we had this. So we could use this one right here. But if uh, well, let's do it, for instance, set chain, uh, it's operator five. But, but, 
it's kind of kind of lame that it being exactly the same pattern as the other gated scenes. So we'll have to extrapolate on it. Um, put a new one here. This one over here. That's just set up for later purposes in this video. Um, I think I'm gonna use part of this temp uh, pattern, but we want to make it much longer. So, and I think. Hmm. Might want to change the pattern. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna just shift it one beat like that. Right. Shift this part in the beginning. So now the pattern is offset. So this is a fun trick because it sounds a bit like a different pattern, but not exactly because it is the same pattern. So it doesn't sound really strange. It sounds kind of familiar, but also different. Right. So we could just copy this. And what we could do is, because in this pattern, this this fast two notes stand out the most, I think. So maybe it would be fun. Oh, oh wait, I have another idea. This is the original pattern. So this is going to be the same as the other ones. So let's move this one at the back. Oh. And then offset the pattern like we intended to do. So putting it one one beat that way jesus christ it's very <laughs> it's very difficult to think and talk in a different language um put this here because this is the end of it whatever and now delete this so now it will start offset the pattern with the other pattern to about here here it will be the same and then at the end you will hear it properly so let's let's listen oh i have to assign the gate to the new operator channel all right <laughs> I think that's a really cool effect. Maybe at this part it, it sounds a bit too familiar, so let's change a couple of notes here and there. Maybe more something like this. Let's see. <laughs> I think 
But you see where I'm going with this? All right. Now, now we just gotta record fucking cool melody or something. So let me try something. Pretty epic lead at the end of some epic psychedelic song. You're tripping your balls off on shrooms or whatever, and then you get the moment like something like this. I hope. Oh. example or maybe you could do something more more less less Should have added a little bit of send delay. Good delay. And we just want to fuck up the sound some more. So fuck it, we're going to assign the oscillator sound. Oh. You, what you also could do, it's the last thing I'll show you, is you could just go wild. Like, oh, like you just get rid of the gate for a second and just freak out. <laughs> Automation that 
think uh, at least I haven't figured out how to do it. Um, Jesus Christ. Something fucked up like that, and then instead of using a pattern to thing it, you really you record the pattern manually with a keyboard. So you get something like this. Quantize the hell out of it. What? What? <laughs> this is such. Oh, this is such a bad video. <laughs> oh, Jesus. something I hope I didn't totally fuck up this video. <laughs> <sighs>